Welcome back to Daytime on Rogers TV at RogersTV.com. We will be heading off to the daytime kitchen in just a little bit. We're talking food additives, things like I've been practicing, uh, butylated hydroxytoluene, xanthan gum, uh, benzoic acid. Jeanette Blake is here to tell us more uh, what's safe, what should we be concerned about, and what should we not be concerned about, courtesy of the Middlesex London Health Unit. But first, surrogacy and egg donation right here in Canada. We're talking with uh, Canada Fertility Consulting. Angie Campo is a surrogacy co support worker, as well as Heather Gunn, who is from uh, Egg Helpers, the Director of Outreach. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Full disclosure, I... Don't, I would consider myself to know very little about surrogacy from the very top, but what are some of the, the big misconceptions about uh, surrogacy, Angie? Yeah, absolutely. So in Canada, you know, everybody thinks that there's so much money involved and that, you know, that, you know, that people are going to be paid for this. And really, truly, Canadian surrogacy is altruistic. And so we're working with women who truly have a heart and a passion for this. What would motivate a woman to... To, to do to make this uh, amazing gift yeah absolutely I mean, so you know women are coming to this because they've watched their friends struggle with infertility because they're a part of the gay community and they're very you know passionate about helping others so really it's truly a gift for others is what is the motivation okay let's talk about how these two work together with uh, with egg helpers uh, Heather what's what specifically is the uh, is the is the goal of, of egg helpers it's really just another way to help out um, so people who are struggling with infertility can be coming to it from a variety of different factors so whether it's a gay couple who is looking to conceive a child obviously they lack some of that necessary equipment and an egg being one of them so egg donation is a safe it's a confidential and rewarding way for young women to be able to help somebody who is struggling with infertility so it could be a heterosexual couple who's struggling with the quality of eggs maybe a woman's undergone cancer treatments and that's affected the quality of her eggs as well so in conjunction with with Canadian Fertility Consulting, we're using maybe a mixture of things. Maybe somebody's using a surrogate and an egg donor. Maybe somebody's caring for themselves, but they're using an egg donor because they can't use their own eggs. So there's a lot of different combinations, and our goal is just to help everybody to achieve that help, healthy, happy family at the end of the day. Um, you use the word easy compared to surrogacy. Egg donation would, by virtue, be very easy. How easy is it? What's involved with egg donation? Yeah, I wouldn't say it's necessarily easy. We make the process simple, though. Um, so for people who are interested in donating eggs, they can visit our website, egghelpers.com, and really, I almost compare it a little bit to online dating. You make a profile for yourself, and you state some of your desires, the type of couple that you would like to help out, you know, some of your, obviously, your physical traits, that sort of thing, and we do all the matching. We find a couple that's suited for you. Generally speaking, in Canada, it is anonymous. Um, we'll send you to a clinic for health screening. We'll get you set up on the whole cycle and everything, and we'll be there to support you every step of the way. It's so important that people who are giving this ultimate gift have somebody to go to with any questions, concerns, anything that they have along the way. Um, Angie, is it because the rules in Canada are so different from the rules in the U.S. that there are those misconceptions? I mean, misconceptions about it costing a lot, misconceptions about uh, surrogates making a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. it because of those differences? Absolutely, yeah. Because in the States, it, you can be paid for it, right? And it ends up costing intended parents so much money as well, you know, going to the U.S. option. So we're this different option that really we're looking in a holistic way to help women through this, right? And it be more of a gift. So is, is most of the support you offer for the women going through surrogacy or is it for the couples or do you just kind of work all, all together? Yeah, all across the board. So we actually run three programs that are all based under the name Sacred. So Sacred Intended Parents, Sacred Donation and Sacred Surrogacy. And we offer a holistic approach where they can, you know, access this service throughout where they can have support in order to help them emotionally through the process. Okay, so what are some of the big challenges that, uh, that surrogates and, and the couples face? Yeah, so so, you know, when I jumped into my first surrogacy, I was like, you know, I can get pregnant, no problem. I'll get pregnant right away and was, you know, ready for that. And so really, truly, I didn't realize I was taking on somebody else's fertility issues as well. So it took me a couple tries to get pregnant, right? So, you know, not always is it the, you know, good fix where you're going to get pregnant right away. And as somebody who has no fertility issues, that was challenging for me at first, right, to understand that because it took us five tries start to finish. Wow. And that must be very emotionally draining. It was because I was emotional for them, right? For me, mm. I was okay, you know, um, but for them, I just wanted to change their story. They had 16 years of infertility and I wanted to be that change and I thought it would happen sooner. So 
you know. So what kind of support then do you provide Absolutely. For, yeah. in, that, in that respect, the emotional respect? Yeah. So I'm there every step of the way. We have a team of over eight women that are all working within our organization um, who help you emotionally and physically. And we also offer counseling throughout as well. So if a surrogate's having an issue or intended parent or a donor, we can offer that support as well. Um, well, I want you guys, to, I have a ton of questions. All, all that we've talked about already has sparked a hundred questions that we'll want to get to. But if you want more information, you can visit fertilityconsultants.ca. You can visit egghelpers.com for more information on egg donation. Or what you can do is just stick around as we continue our conversation. Canadian Fertility Consulting. We're back with more daytime right after this. Today's ARF Ontario Pets of the Day are three-month-old Joan and 18-month-old Gracie. Both of these animals and many more are looking for forever homes. You can do that. You can also get more information on becoming a foster family, donating to or volunteering for ARF Ontario by visiting arfontario.com.